again, everybody, to good day to all. Crossplay here on Farming Simulator 22. I'm on the PS5, for those of you who may not know. I do all my videos on a PS5. But here, we have, um, yes, I have gone and harvested my barley field, um, which is pretty much the same thing I did last episode with the wheat. So I wasn't going to show that, but I am going to show you something new and this is uh obviously the colossus so there was a recent update to the colossus harvesters pack by chris s and riley s and um it includes a whole bunch of stuff as you can see here it is a massive package of stuff they added a um a mower head as well, if I recall, oh, they, they updated the uh, cotton harvester. We have a new stone scraper. And um, I, I don't even remember <laughs> if this was new or not. But we have this, the Super Collect 533 Unrealistic. So we have um, working widths of up to 50 meters. I didn't get 50 meter. I got 25. And capacities of uh, 150 500 1 million and 5 million so i got the 500k i leased this piece of equipment and we're going to pick up all our straw oh and just so you know how much did we get from this field how much barley 146,000 liters so a lot we are going to go and sell it but i thought i'd uh start off by uh, by seeing if this was wide enough to catch both because yes it is uh, the uh, the previous one we tried out was the uh, variable width by gaming joy which is also a fantastic um, mod so if you haven't seen that episode yet check it out but I also wanted to and yeah okay uh, turn it on yes that it would help if I turned it on so it was it's uh, max is 20 feet so it's kind of it's it's um, oh this is we got skippage let's see if we can lower yes we need to lower down Um, right, so it's it's kind of, I'm not going to say it's below this, in, in, in terms of capacity and width, it is um, lower, as in it has a less, a, a smaller maximum capacity and a smaller maximum width. Now that's not to say it's any worse or better, it just has a different scale that it operates on. It is still, uh, the, the, the thing about, uh, the thing with this one is that you just have, it's just the one, uh, I guess you could say brand, it's a lizard brand. It's a modded, of course it's a modified brand or a modified version of, I believe it's a Kloss. And, um, which is, which is, which is fine. Um, but that's it. It's just the one, it's just the one. Um, the variable width, uh, as a matter of fact, I still have it downloaded. We can take a look at. So the variable uh, pickup width package has basically all the or a lot of the base game ones a good selection of the base game balers and uh forge um forge wagons that have that feature so you can pick your favorite one and they uh they have variable uh maximum capacities uh the biggest one being the class like the one i'm using but at 440,000 liter maximum. So it's, it's 
they are multi multiples of 10 if I uh, if I recall but anyways uh, if we get our help window on here let's see field info help window there we go um, uh, yes we'll we'll show you this in a moment but another awesome feature of this is you can select the speed at which you unload which is something else that has been added to uh, um, yes so I, I did only lease this uh, particular uh, why did it miss that because I bounced over Well, because I bounced. Yeah, you gotta be careful that your um, the pickup still needs to be on the ground or close to the ground to to pick up. All right. Um, <clears throat> so, eventually, um, th there are so many other uses for this. Uh, if you like to, uh, if you like um, doing grass work. As you can imagine, this will pick up. Oh, is it still missing a little bit? It's bouncy, bouncy. I think. Uh, don't think it likes bouncing around too much. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah. So if we're gonna bounce, you gotta slow down over the bumps. Make sure it picks up. So if you have rough, bouncy fields, um, just be, uh, might have to go a little bit slower. Anyways, this will make quick work of, um, of this field picking up the straw. A much quicker than it was swathing and, um, yes, I did swath it. Barley did, did you can swap it's a, this is a base game uh, crop so you can swap barley and uh, using the um, I didn't do I, I kind of cheated a little bit I I did the smaller field with straight harvesting but anyways um, we are getting a tremendous amount of straw as 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 base well usual um, straw usually does proliferate quite a bit but anyways um right so i th think we might actually get more than 500,000 liters of straw off of our fields it's getting pretty close yeah i think we might have to unload boom 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 Maybe? How close? Do you think we're going to have more than 500,000? I I am tending towards that thought. Now as you see, this one I straight harvested with just the regular harvester header and I didn't swath and pick up because it was... It, it is very slow. It is, it is the as I said before in the last episode, the most realistic. And there we are, we're full. <clears throat> the most realistic way I've ever probably except for um, like right at the beginning game when you don't have any basically any mods now let's see let's see if we can just go ahead and sell the straw because I don't really need straw right away 130 uh, why does the mobile bell oh because it's not bales I can't sell it there but Bloomnart, I can't say that. That I, it's, I want to say Bloomort, Bloomnart, but it's probably wrong. Um, there we are over there. Let's meet you over there, and I will show you the other neat feature about this forge wagon. Feature I want to show you is R1 and tip side unload speed standard. So what does that mean? Well, it means when you unload, it will unload at the standard um, base game speed or the, the, the base setting for um, the standard 
um, capacity model. Then we have unload speed fast, which would be faster, as you can see here. There it goes, a little bit faster. And uh, yeah, we're gonna skew the uh, we're gonna skew the numbers a little bit from our sell, but uh, sell price. But anyways, we have one more speed, very fast. And as you can see, it's it is really really fast. But there is one more that uh, you're probably going to want if you choose the five million liter is instant unload and there it is ba bam <laughs> now that's cool now too bad or is there you know what I haven't checked out I don't know if he's added that to because he does have a trailer we have these trailers, the Titan trailer, up to 5 million liter, bulk crop standard, bulk crops unrealistic, unrealistic two, 5 million liters. Wheel brands, brands, realized triangle, colors. I might have to investigate this. I, I did not try this. I don't think he upgraded maybe not i don't know you know what i don't know anyways that was our that was, oh we need we gotta get to pick up some more oh you know what <laughs> let's return this because i uh for some reason so it was just leased we, we'll we'll give it back uh for some reason i don't know why either i don't remember trying this or I forgot or whatever that's both I don't remember and I forgot those are the same things <laughs> um so I have I have a, the um, a modded front bucket on this as some of you may have seen me use earlier in this I, I do have I have used it before but I haven't used it or I, at least I don't remember ever using it for this purpose and we have straw on the ground and uh, we can pick up straw off the ground with a bucket and if your bucket has um, a large capacity to it you can pick up your straw like this now it doesn't have the the uh, extended width of that either you do have to uh, let's get some light in the situation you do have to um, oh it's a little touchy you have to get it just right so that it picks up everything off the ground but not too low on the ground where it interferes with steering and I think I have just But the neat thing about it is, as you can, this is, um, what is it, 200,000 liter capacity bucket? And uh, you can pretty much go as fast as you want. <laughs> so uh, it's like, huh, why haven't I, or why didn't I think about this before? I don't know why. Um, <laughs> maybe I did and I forgot about it. There's just so many things that you can do. And and there's other other ways of, of picking up straw off the ground, but I like is this just something I just completely like went over me? Um that I I missed completely or didn't think of is some I'm have some of you been doing this the whole time and just like yeah uh, you just you just uh, you just found out now <laughs> um, which has which has happened to me before it's like it's not like I'm new to the game um, I new to the game compared to some 
not Farm Sim 22, I've played it since its release, but uh, I started playing Farm Sim 19 in the second year of its release, so it's it's been two, three, four years, I guess, I've been playing Farming Simulator, so of course there's been a lot of, a lot of changes from 19 to 22. A lot of things work a lot of things worked in 19 that don't in 22 and then a lot of things work in, yeah vice versa but we're just going to throw this in our in our uh, silo <clears throat> and I did promise we were gonna do um, we were gonna do something different so let us we're gonna plant the next crop but we're not going to use this uh, cedar. Let's get our help one off. That's that's annoying now. We're still we still got the old case. I do love this tractor. It is a little bit slower, but it really is a joy to look at and to use. It's it's just so nice. But we're gonna sell this cedar. Oh, I'm gonna... <laughs> come on back up it's not it's it's an old school tractor it's it's not yeah it's not super fast it's not super smooth shifting gears but it's not sorry it's it's not it's not bad it's just how it works all right let's repair this uh, we can repaint it and then we're gonna sell it and there we go it's gone we got um, hundred and thirty three thousand dollars back for that what are we gonna do instead well as I promised earlier we have a new uh, newer something I think released recently and this one here is the 10.5 meter yes so this will do plant all your everything except like it's not a planter it's a cedar so let's go ahead it's it is what it is there's no options or anything uh seed and fertilizer we're gonna buy it cost us a little bit more than what we sold not a whole lot more so um let's um where's our uh oh we're right here we're gonna grab it with this guy as a matter of fact we can pull it with this guy it uh it doesn't take a whole bunch of horsepower to operate and uh, oh, we might as well we're gonna need hmm. oh yes this was on sale as well I got this used uh, 50 foot um, header tool height control header <clears throat> so that'll come in handy at some point I just couldn't pass up the deal and what deals do we have nothing much i don't want that pinnacle and with nothing special about anything else here so all right let's um let's see open up and let's see if we can fill here we should be able to yes so there fertilizer it does hold quite a lot 3200 liters and are we going to be able to fill up the seeds uh, that might be a little bit trickier I think when I filled up the seeds when I was testing it, it was unfolded. It is quite large. Let's see, can I... Oh, no. It's a... Yeah. It's a, it's a little tricky doing it that way. Let's go ahead and... Do I have seeds at home? Do I have seeds at home? Is a good question let me see where are my oh i passed it didn't i where is it where is it where is it 
Come on, don't tell. Oh, there it is. 1300. Oh, that's not, not, not enough. Um... Let's just do it this way, shall we? I should have bought the liftable ones. Alright, that's okay. <clears throat> I'll come get these later. Load them up into a uh, trailer. And there. Alright, we will meet you. Let's close that. We'll meet you back at the farm. We are good to go. Let's get our help one on again because we have to unfold it. And what that does is, well, that. And uh, what I like about this, among other things, is it is uh, has basically a standard pin hitch. So literally anything can uh, attach to it or just about anything and the wonderful little trailer attacher will fit to it too now this little uh what's interesting here it doesn't show when you have precision farming on how to lift that uh extra well this hitch. <laughs> uh, R1, is it R1 and... No, L1 and R1. Uh, L1. Which was, I can't remember which one it is now. There's a way to... Oh, it's not showing... There we go. L1 and right stick right. It's a little slow. There we go. <laughs> All right. So now we're doing oats. Oats is the next. So this is a kind of a really cool little... Uh, yeah. So it tested really, really good when I tested it. I liked it. So that's why, obviously, that's why... Uh, down, turn it on... Let's give it a good, let's go for a bit of a, and we're not plowing or anything, it's a direct drill. And there we go, so it's fairly, as you can see, it's easy to pull, this thing doesn't have a problem pulling it. And it's, it, for the width, it's fairly compact, actually. Um, it's a little, it's, it's obviously, uh, wider than it is long <laughs> uh, unlike the um the borgo the borgo is nice i do i did i do like that one that's why i was using it okay let's get our help window back off that's just in the way now that we've had that so yeah cool so we're going to be using this for the next little while there is a smaller one too but uh the fit our fields are big enough that this will do just nicely. I might even get... I'll, I'll continue to keep an eye on... Um, the vehicle. There was one... There was a tractor that came up, but it wasn't... Really what I was looking to get right away so we're gonna set the worker off and see how he does with this um, this particular setup he did okay with the Borgo I'm just interested to see how he's gonna handle this in this particular situation I never I did not find any issues with it uh, with the worker when I tested it the first time so it should be mostly okay it's just all right so i need i'm gonna need to give it because of these these trees i am not i'm not a fan of trees being too close to a field for this reason 
and unfortunately on this map that's one of the things I really don't like is there's a lot of trees that are very close to the field now this is something that actually in this part of the country in some places there is um, I know on my uncle's farm he's got a few a line of trees around the uh, around the farmhouse that uh, are close to the field now I don't I don't know how I mean it's there it is what it is I mean there's tr we have trees <laughs> we have trees so uh, trees are a thing um, but because of the way it interferes with with things in this particular game I'm not really fond of them for that particular reason but anyways that's just me and I'm missing a little spot but we'll we'll let him go now that should be enough room at the end of the field for him so yes we will release the hound and see how he turns let's see how it does here okay he, he finished to the end that's good He's gonna back up right very nice and you notice that it has caster type wheels on this cedar but they don't seem to be uh it's not a problem they they're not impeding the progress of the vehicle or making it hard to turn around or anything like that see when he backs up they're gonna they're gonna go back around right and then they're gonna turn back around when he starts now i've i've had those kind of wheels cause problem with other mods in the past but not this one all right well we'll let him go and we'll uh, we'll be back when well something interesting happens and we're coming around for our last strip and i have planted uh or seeded and fertilized this entire field without having to refill seed or fertilizer and it looks pretty much uh it's missing just a little bit there i didn't do anything that wasn't me misses little bits here and there so not sure if that's huh, interesting that is interesting i didn't get that in my testing i wonder if that's just something to do with the map or the tractor or whatever but anyways um there it is we have we have done this whole whole field and um yeah fertilized and seeded uh with one fill of this tank on this cedar which is quite impressive actually uh something we couldn't do with the borgo right so now what you may ask well uh, since we haven't really spent a whole lot of time um in this episode yet i'm gonna basically run it through a next cycle which is pretty much what we're doing more or less where i am i am grabbing the odd uh, new piece of equipment and um, since nothing has changed here because we're still in the same month um, i did lime this field uh, between last and this uh, this episode and last episode so everything is hunky-dory here I'm not gonna roll anything I think that's boring <laughs> and it's not really the point of this series the series the point well one of the points of this series is just to let you watch me play the game and um, for me to have a bit of fun and I don't have fun um, rolling fields and we're at about we're pretty good 121 of the 20 125 i didn't even mulch the last one we just we just hit it and um let's see what about our environmental score see we're running pretty much 80s mid 80s on average low 80s on average across the board <clears throat> yeah 83 so that's the average of all our fields which is pretty good uh, we have yet to go and sell our... Oh, maybe we should do that. I'm going to use my magic bucket. Because I just want to make one trip. So let's do that. Let's do that. And then... And then... 
And then, um, yeah, we're gonna just go ahead and skip, skip to the loo ahead. Uh, barley, there we go. That's a fair bit of barley. Where are we gonna sell it? Where do we sell our barley? Um, grain mill. Now, yeah, it's actually, we're, yeah, grain mill. Grain mill is where we're going to sell it. So we're going to fill uh, this bucket up, and we'll meet you over at the grain mill when we're ready to sell it. Right, here we are. We Very pretty predictable about uh, how much money we'll make at a... Uh, thousand dollars per thousand liters but uh here we are anyways 14 extra 14 thousand dollar bonus for the environmental score which i always always like that extra bonus so now we have plenty of money actually um and um yeah so now we wait so as as i travel through the months not doing much of anything. I, I'm not doing any more contracts because uh, we have enough enough cash. Do we have enough cash to uh, still? I still would like to keep. I'd like to buy another field, but I still want to keep some um, cash for what's in this field. This is uh, cotton. Oy. Well. Cotton isn't the most hated um, crop anymore for me because of um, of another little mod that Gaming Joy has has released. So we might actually try cotton at some point, which is something I don't think I have ever done. Um, yeah. So that's something we may try in the future. As for See, that's this field right here. How much is that field? How much is that field in the window? 554,000. That's it's still pretty pricey. It's not going to let us it's not going to leave us much money left over, which is we've kind of pretty much purchased uh well, except for maybe uh you know, we got this little field here. But um also, this one's not 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 bad. Three hundred and seventy-four. We have this one over here, but this one's like so super handy. But it is big, and it's going to cost us a chunk of change. As with most of these, they're they're all going to be fairly expensive. We got some small ones up here. Now, of course, we can always kind of move our farm. It won't take much to move our farm like up up there perhaps or even even say here um, we could move our farmyard up here to take advantage of a larger area once once we get going it's we don't have a whole lot invested down here the plot of land is actually well, as a matter of fact I do like all that space though it's yeah yeah, anyways. Um, we'll carry on for another season or so and build up some more cash to purchase um, because then we're going to be looking at... Um, well, it just it's just a bigger investment. So it's it's a progression, of course. At some point, I, I still want to do sheep. But anyways, um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's... Let's let's get rolling then, and we'll see you back when, um, well, yeah, as usual, when something interesting happens. And here we are, so we have uh, yet again cleared the deck, and as I noticed now, fuel is almost on fuel up. We're almost out of fuel again. There we go. We'll fuel her up before we put her away, and we're gonna just, uh, we're just gonna get a bail bail out on this one fill up with fuel yes all right so um, I am 
next time we're gonna go we, we are I'm gonna trade in my trailer here and we're gonna go test out the, uh, the trailer from the Colossus pack how much barley did we get actually it's oats sorry oh um, 77,000 liters which is a fair bit less than we got from our barley actually and um, some of that I am sure is due to um, not swathing and just direct we just we just uh, only direct harvested I didn't I didn't do the swath and burn this time so yeah it's quite a significant uh, let's see here go here yield even though we yield was still good that um, picking up the swath really does give you um, now I have now this isn't uh, this is not a like for like this is oats and that was barley so it's not it's not a direct comparison but it is a significant difference so is it due to the swathing yeah I don't know I ask me if I care <laughs> I really don't <laughs> uh, but it's nice to, to, to fool around with play around with which I am doing now uh, what's next uh, let's see here uh, next on the uh, come on uh, no what the uh, select where's my select um, turn on well, seed selected yeah there we go uh, canola canola is next cannoli once we clear the deck from this straw a little bit of lag happening here around this cedar which uh, which is um, something I've noticed a little bit there we go so we're going to uh, just go ahead and make a bunch of bales. I'm sticking with the quick. Somebody's horny. Um, oh, yeah, thank you. Um, have my window open. Yeah, apologies for that. <clears throat> um, what was I going to say? Oh, um, yeah. Um, we might end up going with, I don't know, I just like this baler so much. It's just so nice and handy. And, um, and I'm going to just go ahead and use the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the bale sell point that I have from Yos again. So it's just going to make it quick and easy to get cash from the straw. And, um, we're going to reseed canola. I am going to check and see if the canola is swathable. But what I've been th what I'm thinking is um, <clears throat> I'm just going to uh, if anything just do oh I missed all this stuff here oh, well. um, I unlike some people are not bothered by OCD <clears throat> not to, and, and not <clears throat> sorry and not to make fun of people who actually have OCD, but they're different. I, it is the opinion of me that there are various levels of that. And I guess in some things I am, I'm not going to call it OCD. I'm, I'm going to call it, there's certain things I'm particular about. But things like this really don't bother me at all. It's like, meh. But there are things. There are things that bother my wife a lot, which we won't talk about. It's not a it's not a spouse bashing video, to the contrary. Um, it's just it's like some yeah, I uh, just I don't know. It doesn't bother me. Some other things 
kind of do. But for the most part, most things don't really bother me that much. But anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, so w we might do swathing tests on this field because it's a little bit smaller. It does take quite a bit more time. And since we are kind of, in essence, speed running through these crops until I can get to something a bit more significant, like enough cash to buy another field and then start. I'm, I'm, I've been thinking of moving my uh, farmyard. Not that I don't like my farmyard, but um, there are, are other spaces on this map that are suitable and um, I can remove the buildings on my present farmyard and, and plow it in and make expand the field there and have a, have a center of operations somewhere else to, to just be a little bit different maybe be a little bit closer to the store would be nice and to all the sell points that would be nice um, but anyways so um, yeah I'm going to finish up doing this and um, yeah we'll wrap things up with me collecting uh, or running around with the uh, with the, um, the cell point there and just kind of making all the bales disappear. So how's that? All right, here's the little fella. And we're just going to toss him in the back of our... I think we did this last time, actually. In our little uh, uni, unibug or whatever you want to call it. Let's see if she'll... Uh, let's, uh, let's take off... Then off off there we go off with your head um <clears throat> right so where did all our oh well, that's right i i i had this set at 125 bales and it's like oh how come it's spitting out bales so quickly and oh is it not does it is it is it upside down why is it not oh do i have to be like close to it <laughs> I do it do I have to be holding it really fine fine I thought that's weird maybe it needs to be closer to the ground oh well let's do this hmm oh I bet you it's like sucking it in. It's not instantaneous. Let's get our... Uh... Maybe that's what it was. It was like, yeah, I'm... It's 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 going it. Oh, yeah. See, look. See our dollar amounts? Yeah. Silly me. Back to the truck. Funny thing is, I can I can almost run as fast as this truck goes around this field, but now that I'm looking at the uh, my dollar amounts, it is it is it is not instantaneous. It is it is eating the bales, as it were, as it gets close. And of course, the last few bales I made were like humongous giant bales, so it took much longer than these which contain actually quite a bit less so what's next um, as we showed canola is next we're gonna keep an eye on um, used used um, machinery as you can see here there's nothing there's the, there's this the liftable bales pack but I have a yeah I have a baler I'm happy with until we find something else that maybe is um, interesting. But, um, yeah, so I don't think we, you really need to see me plant it or seeding canola again. <coughs> Excuse me. Or, um, yeah. not. It's kind of just the same thing over and over again until um, probably once I sell... 
Once I sell um, this crop, I I will have pretty good amount to uh, to buy either another smaller ish field or a big one and kind of basically save up again with to buy an equipment because it's either equipment or land because equipment's pretty expensive unless you uh, catch a, catch a good sale as you know but anyways uh, that is going to be um, it for this episode it's a little bit samey samey as it was last time a couple tried a couple of things I try to I am gonna try to uh, you know to mix it up a little bit but yeah I mean <laughs> honestly it's a farming game so there's you plant crops and you you, you, you harvest them I, I'm not really huge into the production thing really I'll do a little bit it wasn't really my I wasn't really all that excited about it to be quite honest when it I mean the stuff that I enjoyed the most is this um, even as a little kid the thing I enjoyed the most is cutting the grass <laughs> I don't know why if we went over to friends places can I cut can you cut can I cut your grass it looks a bit long where's your bower <laughs> it's just every time I went over to my uncle's place I, the first thing I'd be looking for is the mower so I could cut the grass it's it was uh, so yeah um, I just gravitate towards this so um, I will try we, we will add more things as things go along as time permits we'll see how next week goes with uh, mods if there's a ton of them then I'll be doing those that's the main thing uh, this is um, you know the let's plays are something I like to do something I know some of you enjoy watching some of you don't watch let's plays which is fine but um, anyways gives me a chance to try some other things out too in a longer term type um, basis right like that cedar so I, I do test everything but I don't always spend like a lot I spend enough time with them to find out if they're working or something obviously wrong with them but other than that long-term testing they don't they don't all get that just time constraints it's not just not enough time I mean in the day or the night or the week <laughs> so anyways there we go that's it we've um, fourteen hundred dollars per bale which is pretty good we had quite a few bales there we go so uh, that's um that's it for now thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till the next one bye for now